Hello friends, most welcome to my YouTube channel and the crash course of psycholinguistics. So far we have discussed a lot about psycholinguistics and this video we will discuss about interlanguage that is a topic in psycholinguistics. Interlanguage refers to a language system that is developed by second language learners during the process of acquiring a new language. It is an intermediate language system that reflects the learner's current stage of language learning. Interlanguage is a transitional linguistic system that often contains errors, inaccuracies, and supplication. As learners tend to apply the rules and structures of their native language to the new language they are learning. Interlanguage is also influenced by factors such as cultural background, motivation, and exposure to the target language. Linguists and language teachers often study interlanguage to understand the patterns and strategies used by language learners and to provide feedback and guidance for improvement. The features of interlanguage can vary depending on the language being learned, the learner's background and their level of proficiency and the target language. However, some common features of interlanguage include Number first is ungrammatical sentences. Interlanguage contains ungrammatical sentences. It usually consists of elements from language first the second language or we can say the target language and also the speaker's perception. Number second is a uh, transitional linguistic system. Interlanguage is a transitional linguistic system different from both uh, L1 and L2. Simplification. Learners tend to simplify the new language by using simpler vocabulary, shorter sentences and basic grammar structures or generalization. Learners often apply grammar rules and patterns of their native language to the new language, resulting in errors and inconsistencies. Transfer. Learners may transfer grammatical and vocabulary system from their native language into the new language they are learning. Fossilization. Under language uh, errors and inaccuracies can become fixed and persistent as learners continue to use them despite correction and feedback. Creativity. Learners may develop their own language constructions and rules as they try to communicate in the new language showing the creativity and problem solving abilities. Influence of culture. Interlanguage may reflect the learner's cultural background as it affects their language use and interpretation. Overall, interlanguage is a natural, dynamic, and complex process that reflects the learner's cognitive, social, and linguistic development in acquiring a new language. So this was all about interlanguage. If you want more about psycholinguistics, I have uploaded a full crash course on psycholinguistics on my YouTube channel. You can watch my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching the video.